Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 5.2 Venn diagrams. 5.2 represents Chapter 5, Section 2 of the Pearson A Level Maths Applied Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section on Venn diagrams. Probabilities can be represented on Venn diagrams. Let A be an event and let B be an event. S represents the sample space. Consider the following Venn diagram. So we've got the two events A and B and we've got the rectangle which represents the sample space. This shaded region over here represents the event A and B or you could say A intersect B. Moving on to the next Venn diagram, we've got this shading over here. This represents the event A or B or you could say A union B. Finally, the third Venn diagram, we've got everything shaded apart from the event A. So this shading over here represents the event not A. Probability of not A happening is equal to 1 minus the probability of A happening. That is a very important result. Let P represent probability. We know that P is more than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 1. The summation or you could say the total of the probabilities is equal to 1. These are the key facts of 5.2 Venn diagrams. I'll be implementing these key facts within two exam style questions. Here is exam style question 1. A group of 275 people at a music festival were asked if they play guitar, piano or drums. One person plays all three instruments, 65 people play guitar and piano, 10 people play piano and drums, 30 people play guitar and drums, 15 people play piano only, 20 people play guitar only and 35 people play drums only. Part A, draw a Venn diagram to represent this information. I'm going to go through the solution to part A. Now with a Venn diagram, I start by drawing a rectangle. The rectangle represents the sample space S. Then I've got three events inside the rectangle. These events are play guitar, play piano, play drums. Now, when filling in the Venn diagram, it is really important that you start off with the intersection of all of the events. So in this case, we have the intersection of all three events, play guitar, play piano, play drums, which is one. One person plays all three instruments. Now, once we've labeled the number one, we can then branch out and fill in the Venn diagram. Let's have a look at the solution. I'm going to first define the events, play guitar, play piano, play drums. Okay, let G be the event, play guitar. Let P be the event, play piano. And let D be the event, play drums. So with the Venn diagram, I start by drawing a rectangle which is a representing the sample space denoted by S. We have three events inside the sample space. So play guitar, play piano, play drums. Now we must start off with the intersection of all three events. In the question it says that one person plays all three instruments, so that part there represents one. 65 people play guitar and piano, so guitar and piano is the intersection between guitar and piano, which is that whole region there. One has been used up, 65 take away one is 64. So that part there is 64. 10 people play piano and drums. The intersection between piano and drums is this part over here. One has been used up, 10 take away one is nine. So this part over here is nine. 30 people play guitar and drums. The intersection between guitar and drums is this part over here. 1 has been used up, 30 take away 1 is 29. So this part here is 29. 15 people play piano only. Piano only is this section over here. That section is 15. 20 people play guitar only. So guitar only is this section here. That is 20. And 35 people play drums only. So drums only is this section here, which is 35. Now we must also label the outside. To calculate the outside, we add up all these numbers. The answer that we get, we take away from 275. Okay, so 275 take away the sum of these numbers. Ladies and gents, that is 102. This completes part A of exam style question one. Moving on to part B. A festival goer is chosen at random from the group Find the probability that the person chosen, part one, plays piano. Okay. The probability plays piano, which is denoted by the event P, equal to 
Let's calculate this. We know that the probability is out of 275. Now for plays piano, we have to look at the circle that represents piano. And we add up all the numbers inside this circle. So 64 plus 1 plus 9 plus 15. So we have 64 plus 1 plus 9 plus 15. This gives me 89 out of 275. Moving on to part 2. Plays at least two of guitar, piano and drums. Solid juice. Nice. Let's have a look at part 2. So probability plays at least two of guitar, piano and drums equal to. We know that the probability is out of 275. So plays at least two of guitar, piano and drums. This could mean that you could play guitar, drums, or you could play guitar, piano, or you could play piano, drums, or you could play all three. So what numbers do we add up? Let's start off with 29. So the 29 is plays guitar and drums. Then we've got 64 plus 64, which is plays guitar and piano plus 9, this is plays piano and drums, plus 1, which is playing all three instruments. Right, so if I add up these numbers in the numerator, I get 103 out of 275. Moving on to part 3, plays exactly one of the instruments. So part 3, probability plays exactly one of the instruments. So let's just write down plays exactly one. The probability is out of 275. So plays exactly one is satisfied by the following numbers. 20, which is playing guitar, plus 15, which is playing piano, plus 35, which is playing drums. So that 20 is playing guitar only, the 15 is playing piano only, and 35 is playing drums only. So all three numbers satisfy the condition, plays exactly one of the instruments. Okay. So if I add up the numbers in the numerator, I get 70. Hence the probability is 70 out of 275. Let's move on to part four, the final part of exam style question one. Plays none of the instruments. So probability plays none. This is technically the outside of all three circles, which is 102. So 102 people play none of the instruments out of 275. That there is the probability. This completes exam style question one. Moving on to exam style question two. The Venn diagram shows the probabilities that the students at a sixth form college study certain subjects M represents the event that the student studies mathematics, P represents the event that the student studies physics, H represents the event that the student studies history. Given that the probability of M is equal to the probability of P, find the values of P and Q. I'm going to go through the solution to exam style question two. Firstly, we are told that probability M is equal to probability P. So to work out probability M, we have to go to the circle M and add up the two elements inside the circle M. So we have 0 0.32 plus P. That represents probability M equal to probability P. So now we go to the circle P and we add up all the elements inside the circle P. This will give us probability of P. So we have P plus Q plus 0 0.07. So this equation here implies that this is true. So now we can rearrange and work out Q. We have the plus P here and a plus P here, they both cancel. This leads on to 0 0.32 is equal Q plus 0 0.07. Hence, Q is equal 0 0.32, take away 0 0.07. Therefore, we have that Q is equal to 0 0.32. Now to work out the value of P, we need to use the fact that probabilities add up to 1 
to generate another equation. Okay, so ladies and gents, we know that the total of the probabilities has to equal 1. 0 0.32 plus p plus q plus 0 0.07 plus 0 0.13 plus 0 0.1 has to equal 1. Okay, so now I'm going to simplify the equation. We have that p plus q plus 0 0.62 is equal to 1. Now we know that the value of q is 0 0.25, so I've got p plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.62 is equal to 1. Hence we have that p plus 0 0.87 is equal to 1. Hence, P is equal to 1 take with 0 0.87. Therefore, P is equal to 0 0.13. This completes the exam study question 2 and this teaching video 5.2 Venn diagrams. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.